One of the things I'm most excited about in the new version of Rebel is the new options in the Brush Creator. If you go to Window, the Brush Creator is Keyboard Shortcut F5. This is more powerful than it's ever been. And some of these additions will not only double the possibilities, but infinitely double the possibilities. <laughs> okay. All right, so here you have the option of textures now in the Brush Creator. Let's look at a couple custom brushes. Let's zoom in and I have dual brush enabled. And so what you can see is these little splats here on the side. This allows for some really organic, really wild brushes that feel a lot more traditional, that feel a lot more like what we expect in an unpredictable world. We have brushes that behave in a way that has randomness, that has some organic uh, mistakes and uh, imbalances and things that have been built in to the software, allowing you to create something that feels like reality. All right, so let's look at this. I have a personal brush that I made here in the brush creator using the dual brush function. I call this one Samurai. I think it is so cool. So here you can see I've got this lovely kind of misty gray background here. Because of the settings in the brush creator, I can make it have this little bit of dustiness and messiness in, in the back. When I press hard, I get this beautiful splat. I can have it adjust based off of pressure, which elements show up, which ones do not. Look how wonderful this is. Really a cool brush, and there's a lot of options here using as stroke, use for stamp. You have a background texture that you can enable. Paint now has the option for default color. If we want this one to always be red, every time we select it, we can make it red. Every time we select it, when we pick a new brush and we go back to it, it's going to be red or whatever color we have pre-selected here. Now for this next section here on smudge on paper bumps, this option inside of stroke, we're gonna to go to structures and I'm gonna turn on this to make this easy as possible to see. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and hide the structures panel. Now I have a coin in the background that has some big raised bumps on it. I'm in oil and acrylic brushes, round number two inside of metallic. I have loading turned down we're going to go over the top here. You can see how the raised levels of this background texture are affecting the paint. Let's turn on smudge on paper bumps. Here as I go over, you should see a very drastic difference. You can see that smudging effect on the bumps. This is the bumps on the canvas. So that means impasto bumps. That means canvas textures, structures, all of those things. This setting right here will adjust the smudging on that lifted area. You can adjust that further with a setting of pressure and a setting of speed. These can be different than each other. Notice those two different curves. You can reset it clicking on the option right here, this X in the corner. There's going to be a full tutorial on the new brush creator finishing with a tutorial on how to create your own brush. Stay tuned for that. That'll be coming soon. If you guys have questions about the new brush creator, put it in the comment sections of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.